Hello everyone and welcome to Dino Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you probably one of the easiest ways to install solar to your RV. We're going to be using this Bouge RV 180 watt monocrystalline 12 volt solar panel. We'll do a quick unboxing, go over the specs of this panel, and then I'll show you how to easily install this solar panel to any RV. Let's get started. All right, here's how your Bouge RV solar panel will arrive. We'll get that open up, take a look at it. So here it'll be packaged with the back side up. This is the 180 watt monocrystalline solar panel. And it'll have a nice foam packaging on the front of the glass to protect it, along with some nice cardboard edge protectors. And it has a plastic film around the frame to keep it from getting scratched. This is the Bouge 180 watt monocrystalline solar panel. Comes a little certificate here. Has your electrical data on the back. It goes over the certifications as well as the dimensions. This 180 watt 12 volt solar panel from Bouge RV features a five bus bar design. Has a 22% efficiency grade A plus cells with a corrosion resistant aluminum frame. With its anti-reflective high transparency glass, it can withstand high winds up to 2400 PA and snow loads up to 5400 PA. On the back you'll find an IP65 full waterproof junction box with a 3 foot pre-connected cable. Max power is 18 volts at 10 amps. And another great feature of this solar panel is it's 100% water resistant, making it ideal for any installation. Alright, the components you're going to need for this install are your solar panel, and two foot SAE to O-ring battery terminal connector with an inline fuse, an SAE to SAE extension cable, and the length of it is your preference. This is just gonna be run from your battery to your solar panel. I have a 10 foot length, but if you want a longer one so you can get your solar panel further away from your RV, that's fine too. Going to need a 30 amp solar charge controller and some two-sided double adhesive Velcro. Always remember when working with solar to be extremely careful if you're going to be uh, working outside. Have the panel facing upside down and away from the sun because so you do not want to get an electrical shock. So we're going to snip these little cables here, these little zip ties careful not to cut your wires. And now we're going to snip off these ends because we're not going to need them at this time. This is where you want to make sure you're doing this in a shaded area. The next step we want to do is take the negative cable and it's marked on your junction box, negative and positive. And we're going to strip back about a half inch of the wire. And we'll do the same thing on the positive side. Now we're going to take our charge controller, attach the two wires to the positive and the negative of the solar panel terminals. Make sure you do not get the positives and negatives crossed. Tighten down the terminals. Make sure they're nice and secured. Do not want a loose connection or you can short something out. Now with the wires secured to your charge controller from your solar panel, you want to take your SAE to battery terminal cable, see which end the plug is. 
make sure that you have the correct end of your SAE to SAE cable extension connected to it. And then we're going to snip the ends off of this one because we're not going to need this end anymore. Go ahead and strip the wires about a half inch again on these. Give the ends a little twist. Okay, now you wanna take your positive and negative cable from your SAE cable extension and attach it to the center two terminals, which is the battery terminal. Again, make sure you have the positive to the positive, negative to the negative. Securely fasten those. Now with your wires securely fastened, you wanna take your two-sided Velcro with the adhesive on both sides. We're going to apply it to the back side of our charge controller and just place it in the center. Press down firmly and then remove the backing from the opposite side. Find where you wanna secure it down to. I'm gonna place it roughly in this area here, wherever my cables wanna lay the flattest. So maybe just down a little bit and right here and then press it down. Gently press, you don't wanna to press too hard and accidentally break your solar cells. Now that's secured into place. Now before we go any further, make sure that you disconnect your SAE to your battery terminal because we do not wanna be connecting this to the battery while the solar panel is in the sunlight. Now with your battery accessible, take your SAE to battery terminal with the fuse holder on it, and we're gonna connect it to the positive and negative of your batteries. Remove the battery terminal. Make sure you install the negative to the negative. We'll go and tighten that back up. We'll do the same thing on the positive side. Now with your cables securely fastened, install your inline fuse. You place the cover on it and you can go ahead and run these wires out the side and put your cover back on your battery. Now this last step is very important. Before connecting your solar panel to your battery, make sure the panel is out of the sun facing away from the sun or even laying down on the ground because you do not want to have this thing getting energized while connecting it to a battery source. So we're going to pull the top of the plug off. We're going to take our end from our battery, our end from our solar panel and connect them together. And you should see on your charge controller now that your battery voltage is showing up. And that's all there is to hooking up your solar panel to your RV. One last thing I do want to mention is make sure that you have your charge controller parameters set up for the type of battery that you're using, whether it's a AGM or a lead acid or a lithium, be sure your charge controller is set appropriately. And that's all there is to hooking up a solar panel to your RV. Now, if you're out at a campsite that doesn't have electricity or you like boondocking, you can install this solar panel. The nice thing with this setup is you can take this solar panel and you can place it anywhere out in the sun. I'm gonna make a stand for it so I can get the right angle so it doesn't need to be leaning up against anything. And that way you can put it anywhere you want and get the best sun for the best charge of your battery. When you're finished with your solar panel and you're ready to leave the campgrounds, all you need to do is Come over here. Make sure your solar panel is out of the sun before you disconnect it. Pull the plug, put this end back on. That'll keep anything short note on your solar panel. And then you can tuck this up back up underneath your battery cover. Well, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you guys are interested in any of the products 
that I used today in this video, I'll leave them down in the link below. As always, thanks for watching, and remember to get outdoors with Dino.